Welcome to Poplar Grove, Illinois, home to a community of driven veterans on a mission to live life on the move, one adventure at a time. Marine veteran Noah Courier sits at the forefront of the Oscar Mike Foundation, a nonprofit organization dedicated to creating unique and thrilling experiences for injured veterans while helping one another transition and adapt into normal civilian life. Oscar Mike is radio jargon for on the move. Uh, we used it all the time in the military, especially in Iraq. Um, if you needed somebody to start moving, you told them to get Oscar Mike. My dad was a Marine um, back in 72, and um, I watched Full Metal Jacket a million times, so I had to be a Marine. I actually joined when I was 17, but I couldn't leave until I graduated high school. About a year later, when uh, September 11th happened, and we went on our first deployment right after that, I came home for a couple months, went on a second deployment, um, this one was the uh, setting up for the invasion of Iraq, and uh, we invaded Iraq on March 19th, 2003. Um, came home from that deployment, and um, three days later, I was in a vehicle, a guy fell asleep at the wheel, and I uh, broke my neck in a car accident. After returning from three intense tours in Iraq, Noah was in a tragic car accident, paralyzing him from the neck down and changing the course of his life's purpose forever. If you could just imagine yourself being uh, newly injured. You, you broke your neck, you're paralyzed from the neck down. You're out of the hospital, you go back to your hometown. Adaptive sports is one thing, and I feel like that is the, the key to starting your recovery process. But the next thing that you need is, is um, you know, a unit. Um, a peer group, a tribe, you know, some people that have been through the same things that you've been through. I wanted people to be able to have that. In 2016, the Oscar Mike Foundation purchased a 9,000 square foot, seven bedroom property with dreams of creating a home for disabled veterans to unite and motivate one another. You know, the most uh, rewarding thing first is always watching somebody make the transition from, you know, like I can't do something to I can. You know, we started this in a two car garage uh, about a mile down the road. And when it was just an idea, it was just, you know, like a thought in our heads and, hey, maybe maybe we could pull off some, some magic. Maybe we can help one or two people. Um, you know, going from that mindset to now being at the Oscar Mike compound, and just being surrounded by support. Volunteers, the, the athletes, the, the sponsors, the donors. I couldn't ask for anything more. I mean, this is a miracle. Our Designing Spaces remodeling team has partnered up with several generous companies to help take the Oscar Mike compound to the next level with some much needed and truly appreciated upgrades. Ryan Stanley is the construction manager and has a long list of projects to get done at the compound for this remodel with just one week to knock everything out. All right, so I'm back here at the Oscar Mike compound for round two. We were here last year. We did a lot of work on the first floor. We're coming back again because this project is massive. It's a big house and they got a lot going on. This time we're focusing on the downstairs, which incorporates, they have a big bar area here, which you can see they've already demoed, got it out of my way. We got a big theater room, we got a gym, we got bedrooms, we got a room for a pool table. So the whole focus this time is just to come full circle, finish the job, get it done, get it right, so these guys can just really enjoy the full scope of the entire house. Speaking of the devil, Noah. What's up, Ryan? Brother, how hey, you man, how are you, man? you, Hey, as you can see, I snuck in what? here early this morning to get the guys busy at work. We've already demoed the bar. You know, 1980s has gone. Yeah, man. And so we want to bring it up to date. But I got a few questions for you. Um, Obviously, accessibility is a big thing for you. You know, Definitely. this bar was way up here. It was even too tall, and it was just completely dated. Last time, you weren't allowed in the house. Right. This time, we wanted to make it more personable. We want your input. We want you guys to get involved and everything like that. So. Oh, to be honest, I'm already excited to see the bar gone. It seems much bigger, right? It does. Oh, that was yeah. the other thing, too. So. As far as I know in here, the turning radius was tight. Can you turn around in here easily enough if I give you this much space? Oh, for sure. 
It's good? Yep. All right. That's how I roll. All right. <laughs> All right, man. Meet decor guru, Jennifer Bertrand. She's looking to add more comfortability, style, and entertainment to the Oscar Mike pad. <laughs> Good timing! Is that fear or excited? No, exciting! Come check it out. We already got started. So here we are. As you can see, demo has already started. Well, and one thing it will show you is this is the power of paint. And we're going to show how paint can do well yeah. in the world. Um, good job on demo, though. Yeah. Let's pick some really cool tile, because I'm going to remove all this tile. Are you yeah. making it still a galley, or are we going to give access on this side or something? Galley, just okay. to give more bar area. So, you know. They you know I'll have opinions. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. Um, so, yeah, let's look at it. And then I always love when you and I, like, challenge each other on finishes <laughs> and all of that. But we're going to make it look amazing. So my idea is designing, like, restaurant bar, okay. hipster, edgy, a little look like everyone should have a beard and a tattoo sleeve and like <laughs> which dry. many of them do which <laughs> yeah, is awesome they do. i can't wait they do okay so the media area they already have the projector which is cool so yep. we don't have to mess with that i also do you know what shishui ban is i have no idea. i know right i just like saying that it's a japanese wood burning technique where you take fire to wood oh yeah yeah, yeah. I love we're that gonna stuff. do that and it may be good on this wall actually yeah. i haven't decided or the fireplace wall should we you know, like do we want to like clad the walls like get some plywood we want to burn wood oh fire about that yes. looks like jen and ryan have a solid game plan now it's time for them to switch gears and get to work. Let's check in with the Prairie View Industries team, who've been installing several aluminum access ramps and thresholds throughout the compound. Hey, Kelly, how hey, are you, Ryan? Brother? Good. Hey, first of all, I want to thank you guys at Prairie View Industries for coming in and help us out. Oscar Mike means a lot to me and our team. We've known him for a while. And obviously, one of the most important things is the accessibility of the house. They had kind of a homemade ramp in the garage. But you guys have really nailed this, not only in a uh, functional standpoint, but as design. You guys have powder coated it, a special color and everything. But tell me a little bit about how this system works. The system comes in four and five foot ramp sections and the handrail are already put together. So all you do is splice the handrail sections together and set the height that you need. And what was it that actually inspired you guys to align with us and help out the Oscar Mike organization? Well, we always try to help the veteran community whenever we can, but we think that what Noah's doing with this organization is great. And we just wanted to be part of it. You know, I mean, Accessibility is important, but Oscar Might, the slogan is keep them on the move, and that's exactly what you guys are doing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Coming up next, the compound gets a little safer with a new fire sprinkler system from U.S. Alliance Fire Protection. Then, we meet one of Oscar Mike's courageous veterans. With so many exciting upgrades going into the remodel at this compound, ensuring safety and protection is definitely a top priority for Ryan and the Oscar Mike family. Ryan is meeting with U.S. Alliance Fire Protection President Chad Hukens to better understand the many safety benefits of having a reliable fire sprinkler system installed in your property. Chad, I want to thank you guys for coming in. I know USA Fire Protection, you guys are doing a pretty big job here. It's a big house, it's 9,000 square feet. But I'm curious, you don't see fire sprinklers coming in in residential areas very often. What can you tell me about the benefits that they can get from putting this kind of system in their home? Yeah, that's a good question, Ryan. The fire sprinkler system that we're installing today is a single family residential home fire sprinkler system, which is basically connected by some pipe and then you have sprinkler heads in a room. And the benefit of this is that if a fire does break out, only the sprinkler heads closest to the fire will go off by heat. Therefore, putting out the fire, most fires are put out with one or two sprinkler heads in a residential home fire. So I think one of the biggest benefits, especially here at the Oscar Mike compound, obviously we have a lot of guys that come in and out of here and they have mobility issues. And if they're down here on the lower levels in the bedroom, there's really only two ways out. You got a very slow elevator or you have an exit out to the patio on the far end of the house. 
If a fire were to break out, that timing is very, very critical. Correct. This fire sprinkler system will put the fire out within a minute or two. And what'll happen is it'll leave you basically with a residue and we'll have to redo some paint and some flooring, but that's it. Not the uh, possibility of having a full blown loss in a property or maybe to the full compound where there could be other people living and staying here at the same time. So Chad, what is it that brought you guys here in the Vector community to do what you're doing? Well, when we heard that the Oscar Mike compound needed help with fire sprinklers, we were so excited to get here, to meet Noah, to hear the story, to see the training that they actually do on site. And the number one reason why we're here is to keep the compound safe. I can't wait to bring Noah home to see not only everything that we've done as far as decoration, but to let him know that with the fire sprinkler, his property and their message is safe in the hands of everything that you guys are done. And I'm just so excited to be able to give that to them. Thank you guys so much. You're welcome. We really appreciate being part of it. Thank Absolutely. you. Lucy Delgadio is an Army veteran and mother of four who joined the Oscar Mike family over a year ago, bringing a unique dynamic to the compound with her nurturing personality and passion for improving the veteran space. I came here in July and it was magnetic. It was just really energetic. It was the first time as a female veteran I could come someplace, walk through the door and have this authentic feeling about being a veteran, being passionate. Um, the last few years have been a, an awakening for me. Like Lucy, the Oscar Mike compound is a home away from home for many veterans who share similar stories and find comfort in spending time with other injured veterans that are determined to live life to its fullest potential each day. My mission when I came here then was once I felt like I was part of this dynamic family, I said, you know what, I'm gonna run the New York City Marathon in their honor and I put on the shirt, they all knew about it. I raised money and I did the New York City Marathon. I was really proud crossing that finish line, you know, carrying the Oscar Mike flag on my back. When you come to the compound, it's, it's home. I love the fact that people are coming out from all over the place. And, uh, you know, I'm very proud when I wear my Oscar Mike shirts and I wear my hat. I, you won't see me at a race without my Oscar Mike hat, you know. When we come here, it's just, it's instant, like, fusion. We all hug each other, we embrace each other. In the veteran space, there's folks that, you know, they see you a certain way and they're like, nah, she just doesn't fit the mold. And it's like, you know, what's the mold of a veteran? And here there's no mold. We're all individuals that work well in the sandbox together. And that's what makes it really, really dynamic. Noah is just a rock star. He gave a place for veterans to come and be themselves and find themselves. People question like, what's your disability? You know, and my disability is, you know, PTSD. I experience MST. So for me, it's a hidden disability. So he embraces that, you know, everybody has a different type of disability. It's an opportunity to be part of something and be your authentic, you're bringing your authentic self. You don't have to put on a facade, you don't have to put on a show. You come here and you're yourself. Coming up next, we continue the Oscar Micro model and learn how American Residential Services is giving back to the compound and communities beyond. Noah and the dedicated Oscar Mike team have come a long way from when the foundation was first created, but they have no plans on slowing down and are constantly looking for different ways to improve the compound grounds and the experience that it provides for its special visitors. Ryan! Yeah, how are you, friend? I'm wonderful. Good to see you, my friend. Hey, I can't thank you enough and the team at ARS for coming to help us out. I know we got a lot going on, so let's go inside and check it out. Awesome, let's go. All right. All right, Scott, so welcome to the Oscar Mike compound. Awesome. Well, 
All right, Scott, so we got a lot going on here in this house, and I understand you guys are not doing one, but three systems. Three HVAC systems today, a furnace and air conditioner and a furnace and air conditioning combination. So, Scott, one of the challenges that we have here at Oscar Mike is a lot of the guys, they can't regulate uh, their own temperature. Some of them actually don't sweat. So regulating temperature is very, very important yep. in the facility. So how do you guys manage that? So the first thing we do with every installation is we do a load calc and we, we go on the hottest day of summer and the coldest day of winter, what capacity or what size furnace and air conditioning system do we need to keep your home comfortable? Second thing that we do at ARS is we guarantee all of our installations with four comprehensive guarantees, including a comfort guarantee where we say the system is going to operate to one degree of your desired uh, set point. And then we also back everything up with a 100% unconditional money back guarantee. So if they ever face problems or issues that they're not able to regulate it, pick up the phone, give us a call. We'll come out, we'll rebalance the system, we'll do anything necessary to achieve the level of comfort that they're looking for. The third thing that we do is with our partnership with Nest, uh, we're installing Nest thermostats today uh, that will allow uh, all the residents to be able to control the comfort of that system right from their phone, their tablet, or laptop computer. I'm originally from Maine, but I live in Florida, so some of the heating and cooling systems are different. Um, this looks like a heat pump for the air conditioning, but what do you do for heat and what, what are the differences as far as like in the climates that we're at? Sure, so obviously in, in South Florida, you're more concerned with, hey, I gotta keep my house cool nine months out of the year. In uh, Illinois, we're more worried about, hey, we gotta keep our house warm nine months out of the year. So we use traditional air conditioning uh, only systems with gas fired furnaces uh, inside uh, the home. Along with supporting the ever growing veteran community, ARS has taken their initiatives a step further through their life-changing program, ARS Cares, providing 80-plus cost-free HVAC units each year to families in need. What was the motivation for you guys to get involved in what we're doing here? So this just happens to, to hit home with us, uh, an opportunity not only to give back to the community, but give back to the folks who uh, uh, put their lives on the line uh, to defend the freedoms that we have in uh, the United States. We actively, uh, through various veteran organizations, various veteran uh, job fairs and, and career fairs, look to, uh, to hire veterans uh, in each of our uh, branches. You know, that's really amazing, and I can't thank you guys enough for all that you're doing. You're making a major impact, and myself and Oscar Mike, thank you guys so much for thank everything you you've very been doing. Much. We're happy to do so. All right, thank you. Friend. Thanks for joining us on this special edition of Designing Spaces, Spaces of Hope. There are so many exciting things happening. Tune in next week for part two of the remodel at the Oscar Mike compound. The compound gets a colorful facelift with the help of paint experts from Fresh Coat Painters. Then, Jennifer heads over to Value City Furniture to shop till she drops, adding style and comfort to the Oscar Mike sanctuary. While Ryan and the volunteers make progress with the new bar construction, Noah and the Oscar Mike family head over to the range for an action-packed day with Hava and the Sig Sauer team. Then the Oscar Mike volunteers and staff receive a pleasant surprise for all their hard work. Surprise! To learn more about the Oscar Mike Foundation and their supportive partners, visit oscarmike.org.